cannot say the Africa of 1717 has to be the same Africa of 2017. And I cited the example, for example, of the way people eat. You know, people, people, you give people kenke and fish, they say, I have to go African. That means I have to eat with my fingers. Now, whoever told you that eating with fingers is African? <laughs> Who told you that? Eating with fingers is simply an antiquated, unhygienic way of eating. That's all. The British used to eat with their fingers. The Romans used to eat with their fingers. The Greeks used to eat with their fingers. The Japanese used to eat with their fingers. The Chinese used to eat with their fingers. After some time, they realized the finger gets too dirty. So now let's get utensils to be extension of our fingers. Some use chopsticks, some use steel or, uh, uh, is it steel? Stainless steel. So that they can clean it properly. Dirt doesn't stick on it to eat their food. Now we say no. Everybody has moved, but we, we are committed. The game has changed, but we will play it our way. My problem is not that we eat with our fingers. Once in a while I do, once in a very long while. Very long. Recently I ate with my fingers and it felt so awkward because I took a vow with myself never to eat with my fingers again. Never. I said, this thing, yeah, yeah, it's good for Kofanochi, but yeah, he, he didn't have a spoon, he didn't have a fork, he didn't have a knife. I have spoon, I have fork, I have knife. I have to do it differently. I'm, I'm sure if Kofanochi comes and sees it, hey, you people, you are still doing it the same way I do it. He himself will be upset with us. I took a, a, a personal vow years ago that I'll, I'll stop eating fufu. I stop eating fufu. Not that I don't like it, I like it. Not for health reasons, but for annoyance reasons. <laughs> Any food that if you have to eat, you have to punish yourself this way to eat. I said, I said what, what is the sense in this? Boom, 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 boom. And the anointing, when you're sweating, your sweat is going into the thing. You are mixing sweat. And all kinds of, now you do even, and, and even the, the mortar, there are all kinds of dry fufu in the corners. All kinds of, all kinds of bacteria. This, uh, this is an ecosystem for bacteria. Five years of bacteria, we're still pounding the thing in there. And people say, this is what we like. Because, you know, Africans, we don't know what kills us. The thing is killing us, but we say it's a witch. It's a, it, you know, so, we, because we never identify objectively where our problem is, it's, it's a witch somewhere. So, somebody poisoned him. So, this happened, but we never come to think of it. This fufu we've been pounding in this mortar, which is not sanitized and has left over things in the corners which becomes breeding grounds for all kinds of bacteria. What impact does it have on our life? I don't think we've researched that. We haven't. So the problem I have is not that we are Pounding fufu, uh, by all means, if you pound fufu, uh, go ahead, God bless you, pound it. You know, I don't have problem with you pounding your fufu. And people say, well, now we, we do it another way. But you know, once I, I, I move, I move. Whether you even find a new way or not, I've moved. Just leave that thing. Yeah, some, some people even say, I've become a white man. Am I a white man? 
How can I become a white man? I can never become a white man. I'm a black man, black man from bed, black man forever. Because somehow we equate a new way of thinking to being white and the old way of thinking to being black. I don't have problem with that. The problem is I see a direct correlation between that attitude that makes us behave in those ways. And it's not only in Ghana, it's in Nigeria, it's in every African state. That makes us adopt these habits also affects the way we respond to global changes around us. Mm -hmm.